Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time. I hope I will not lose internet because I saw them working in the street and already we lost the internet twice today. However, if in case, uh, we will do the video again. So don't worry. Uh, the Muslim today, they came to the chat and they were saying that Othman, he destroyed David Wood and Anthony or Anton. And then they posted that like in the in the chat for like a thousand time and in the comment section. So I went to see like what is that? I mean, what's why, what's making them so excited? And this is what I found. North County, but also what body? Ran around in Inglewood, Inglewood Mafia, <laughs> those sorts of things. Were you blood, crib, essay? No, no, more of an essay type gang. Nice. Cool. But my background is Sicilian, just like ah. you're, uh, you're Pakistani, right? Yeah, I'm Pashtun, yeah. So we're both guys sort of out of our own water in a sense, but we... I feel you. In different, uh, yeah, 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 that's cool. What's your name? My name's Anthony. Anthony, nice to meet you. So are you are you guys Christian then, or Catholic? Yeah, are you? I've seen, I've seen one of your videos, you might have seen more, but I, see, I saw one video, it popped up. Uh, it was because you mentioned Christian Prince. Okay. And it was where you, you said you, you challenged him to a debate. You said yeah. you'd debate anyone. So, anyone. So we decided, we know Christian Prince is not going to come down. Like, okay. He doesn't, he does, he's not comfortable revealing his identity. Why? But, uh, uh, I mean, you're here, yeah, nobody's... Yeah, we're here. If we knew, we did. <laughs> That's a good question for Christian Prince, right? That, I mean, you guys are here, anybody harming you, anybody attacking you? I don't think that's the, I mean, I don't know, I couldn't speak to Is he like on a, on a sex registry somewhere? Like, is there a problem know. with showing? Hey, Christian Prince, are you in a sex registry or something? I mean, do you see how low they are? So you coward, you know that I don't go, I don't meet anyone, I never met even David Wood, I never met Ant Anthony, I never met Sam Shamoon, I beat your prophet from my house. And you filthy coward, you go low, let us go low. My friend, if when I talk about sex registry, the first one will be in sex registry is your prophet, not me. Because I am not a child molester like your prophet. If your prophet come to America, he will be immediately arrested in the airport. So you filthy you, why you make personal insult so I will show everybody how filthy your prophet is. Not to forget to mention that those people they keep talking about sex registry. Sex registry is something that exists in America. In your country, it's not exist. I remember there was a brother, you appreciate his work. He was arrested for a child pornography. And the funny is, he was arrested in Malaysia, which is an Islamic country, which is accepted that the prophet, he have a child wife, and she is six years old. So when the police, they ride his house and they find tons of, of videos of sex and porn with the children. This is not according to Islam. This is something you learn from us. So if you're a prophet come to USA, he will be arrested immediately. I wonder why Christian Prince is not coming to see me. Is he in a sex registry? I mean, look who is talking, someone who believed that Muhammad is a prophet, and he's a prophet, is a child molester with no question. If you search in Google what sex registry mean, you will find that all description fit with your prophet. I never even been arrested all my life. I never even have somebody complain about me all my life. My neighbors, they love me, but they cannot love someone like you who believe that having sex with the children is okay. And I challenge you, as long as you say you follow Islam, to practice what your prophet practice, and let us see who is going to be in the sex registry immediately. And you know what? Why you force me even to go and talk about your prophet and his sexual life? Shame on you. Look, we was going to talk about, you know, the, the argument about uh, 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 the Quran and etc. But you want to go low? Don't do that with the Christian prince. You know, if we ask the Muslims some questions about their prophet, 
immediately they will jump and they will hide. Shall we ask some sexual questions? Like who is the sex maniac? It is me or your God who says I promise you women in heaven and their vagina nobody touched or nobody effed. Who is the sexual pervert? It is me who or the God who promised you women with big boobs. Who is the sexual pervert? Imagine I go, you, you said you are in San Diego, why you don't put a sign in the top of your uh, uh, tent, say, hey guys, if you convert to Islam, Allah will big you, give you big boobs. Let us see if the police will come and question what are you saying. Or maybe you are not proud of the Quran. You see, I'm changing translation to make it fit with your propaganda. What translation you like? Don't talk about sex. You Muslims, when you speak about sex, you make me laugh. You follow a prophet, prophet who is a perverted man who sucked the tongues of his children, who wished that Osama, he was a girl, and he used to lick his face. I mean, look who is talking. As long as you mention Osama, I just mentioned it, right? I better show the hadith, hold on. And now, he will ignore my video, he will not say anything. You, know, you are the one who mentioned, so you are the one who brought insult to your prophet. Warning Muslims, anyone when I speak about, you wanna make it personal, I will not answer you insulting you. I will insult by showing the truth about your prophet. Have you ever heard of a man he wished that a boy is a girl? And he lick his face? Hmm? He licked the face of Osama? Oh, I forgot, you will say this is Da'if. You know, by the way, do you know what the Muslim, when they say this is Da'if? They are saying to you that we Muslims, we lie about our Prophet. So we are fabricators and we are not trustworthy. We make stories up and we put it in books and we call it Sahih because Sunan Ibn Majah is a Sahih book. This is one of the six of Sahih books of those Muslim Sunni. Have you ever heard of somebody sucking the blood and remove it from his face? And saying, I wish if Osama were a girl, I would have adorned him and dressed him until I married him off. What kind of a prophet he wished little boy to be a girl? And what kind of a prophet he sucked his blood from his face? What he was doing exactly? Oh, I don't want to talk about sexual pervert now your prophet he used to walk in the street and men they hug him and they kiss him down his belly i think this is normal in islam and if you say to me that this hadith is da'if people will laugh at you So if your prophet was there next to David Wood and Anton, he will say to him, <laughs> hey, do you wanna kiss me here? Do you wanna kiss me here? And then, uh, but for sure David will not do that, but you will do it because it's your prophet. And the prophet, and you will say to the prophet, but I'm not wearing a shirt, I am topless, and uh, you are not. And then the prophet, he will lift up his shirt. And then the person, and look, the prophet, he put him under the ribs with a, stra with a stick. He said, let me, let me take retaliation. He said, Re take retaliation. He said, you are wearing a shirt, but I'm not. The prophet then raised his shirt and the man embraced him and began to kiss his side. 
And then he said to the prophet, ah, Prophet, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Don't stop. And as you see, this is authentic hadith. Don't talk about sexual predators. Are you talking about the man who killed a husband and a father and a brother and then he raped the girl who her name is Sophia? Hmm? I mean, we can count for you endless stories. Oh, hold on, I just remember a story. Do you know that Muhammad, he claim, and the Muslim, they claim, that a bunch of African, they used to ride the Prophet? And we spoke about that long time ago. I mean, what kind of a Prophet is this Prophet who put eyeliner three times a day? He pissed like a woman. In the top of that, when he walk in the street, African, they jump on him. And hold on. Because you might say, this is not a true. Let me find the hadith. Here we go. This is your prophet. I think I'm losing voice, aren't are we? What they were doing? Hey, Mr. Uh, Uthman, the one who claimed to be Sheikh and he speak Arabic, or how you claim, and you claim that you know Arabic, does it say in the front of you, it says, They were riding the messenger of Allah. I want you to explain to us how a bunch of Africans, they were riding your prophet. In which way and how? And I don't really... Uh, uh, I will not mind if you do a video, like get somebody to ride you, to explain to us how the riding was happening. And this is a new book. This is the book of Majma Uz Zawaid, page number 261, volume number 8. And this is your Islamic library. They used to ride the messenger of Allah. If I click now, translate to English. This is a messenger of God, who people ride him. I'm just trying to find where in English will appear now. Give me a second. <laughs> they ride the prophet. <laughs> Actually, one of you just sent me a video just a few days ago about it. Do you see it? The translation not accurate, but I think it is obvious and clear. They are riding your prophet. So when someone like you, law, you want to speak law, we will not speak law like you. We will go to your books and everybody will be laughing. And I know, I know what you will say. We say this is weak. I mean, you must then you say stories making fun of your prophet left and right, and you publish it, and you translate it, and you put it in Arabic, and you put it in English, and you put it in your library, and you preserve it, and it is a story which is supposedly saying your prophet being right by African. And here, as you see, actually in Arabic, you will see how disgusting how they describe those African. 
what kind of a prophet this prophet is when somebody speak about is he a sexual uh, like in sex sex registry you just brought an insult to your prophet you know you are like a like a camel who have a big hump in his back claiming that he is a deer this is who you are actually if you read my book sex and Allah you will see that all the family of Muhammad they are weirdo even Umar al-Khattab he used to use a medicine the sperm of men even you Muslims make fun of your God and the Prophet stories and the Prophet reference as an example there's a guy his name is Abu Layth he could not believe it that Allah will resurrect people by the sperm of men by what by the sperm of men and the guy he go crazy to the point he carry an umbrella in the top of his head when he read the hadith let us show you the video so you will not say it doesn't say that cb commercial skip the commercial nonsense is that We can say that the Quran strongly suggests the Quran seems to have a very strong skip this part let us go to Allah will do ejaculation first of all Ibn Mas'ud begins by saying that the Christians claim Jesus will come back you see this see the stupidity of the Muslims when they deny their their prophet the prophet he say in the clear hadith that Liyushika, it's almost he is almost there but and they go in denial as usual anything is embarrassment for them they say okay so the christian they say jesus is coming back but you muslim you say the same suddenly no continue this belief creeping in but anyway check this out more interesting people i want to bring your attention elaborate detail on the end of time what's gonna then happen is look at all of this what will he goes through in you know details this is going to happen that's going to happen a wind is going to come yeah juj mat juj are going to come people are going to die all this stuff but then what's going to happen after this utter destruction now this is the hadith he was saying yahya uh, uh, uh yasir qadi that we can't question with reason put together too many of the sahaba have narrated it and therefore uh predominant you know sunni methodology basically is that mutawatir ahadith uh, are certain you feed al-qata it's not vanni it's not something that is subjective it is something that is certain the notion of rejecting mutawatir ahadith simply because it is not rational right that's to me the fundamental uh, difference between this strand of islam versus the bulk of ahl sunnah or the bulk of sunni islam so now check this out what does the hadith say at the end when there's utter destruction how will this be brought back then allah will say, now <laughs> i have to translate this so brace yourselves people allah will send there's a fluid from beneath the arsh which will ejaculate like the sperm of men <laughs> <laughs> so when you talk about sexual pervert obviously your god is a sexual perverted man not only your prophet even resurrection for mankind is going to happen by the masturbation of allah have you ever heard of a god he masturbate listen carefully again brother because this brother will explain to you a sahih hadith this time and as you see Yes, sir, Kadi, confirm it. Translate this so brace yourselves, people. Allah will send 
there's a fluid from beneath the arsh. This out. What does the hadith say at the end? When there's utter destruction, how will this be brought back? Then Allah will say, now, <laughs> I have to translate this, so brace yourselves, people. Allah will send, there's a fluid from beneath the arsh which will ejaculate like the sperm of men. <laughs> I, I'm, whoa, people, let me repeat, look at it for yourselves. Allah will send down on earth, shower down on earth, fluid from beneath his arsh. So beneath his throne, there's a collection of fluid, which is kamaniyir rijal, which is like the sperm of men. <laughs> this is going to shower down on the globe. And what's going to happen is this is going to then give birth to... Uh, to once again life. So sperm. <laughs> so for that, people, I had to, had to, yeah. So. <laughs> Selves. Thumma yursilu Allahu ma'an. Allah will send down on earth, shower down on earth, Fluid from beneath his arsh. So beneath his throne, there's a collection of fluid, which is kamaniyir rijal, which is like the sperm of men. <laughs> this is going to shower down on the globe. And what's going to happen is this is going to then give birth to, uh, to once again life. So sperm... <laughs> So for that, people, I had to, had to, yeah, so. <laughs> and you are talking about sexual registry. First of all, you're stupid. This is public slander. Don't be stupid. This is against the law. You are a donkey. But I will, I will, I will forgive you. It's okay. But you stupid idiot. You are a follower of a prophet who is a child molester. A man who put eyeliner, a man who pee like a woman, a man who said, I never received Quran except in the clothes of Aisha. And I know, I know, you will say the clothes mean house, right? But that's me, Muhammad was not a prophet in the house of Khadija. <laughs> Stupid. But this is your coward. You said, I will debate you only face to face. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Blizzard, huh? Huh? <laughs> I will debate you face to face. To, uh, to once again life. So sperm. <laughs> so for that, people, I had to, had to, yeah. So <laughs> fluid. I will debate you face to face. This is before the ejaculation of Allah or after. I want an answer. From beneath his arsh. So beneath his throne, there's a collection of fluid, which is kamaniyir rijal, which is like the sperm of men. <laughs> this is going to shower down on the globe. And what's going to happen is this is going to then give birth to... Uh, to once again life. So sperm. <laughs> so for that, people, I had to, had to, yeah. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Blizzard, huh? 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's this? The poor guy is talking to himself and he did not debate me. I don't know what will happen to you if you ever dare to do so. And you coward, you know that I don't go in the street and you accusing me to be a coward. It is you who is very much intimidated like all those who claim they can debate me by saying we want to debate him face to face. You made it face to face because you know that this will never happen. It is you who is the coward. 
It is you in the sex registry. It is you who follow Muhammad who marry a child at the age of six. It is you who believe in God who do ejaculation. Send down on earth, shower down on earth, fluid from beneath his arsh. So beneath his throne, there's a collection of fluid, which is kamaniyir rijal, which is like the sperm of men. <laughs> this is going to shower down on the globe. And what's going to happen is this is going to then give birth to, uh, to once again life. So sperm. <laughs> <laughs> so for that people i had to had to yeah so hold on what man he will call you and he will say this is that if you idiot <laughs> anyway guys i will stop this video here and i will be back live on air maybe in half hour so we can get him busted with the rest of his argument with anthony roger shall we so we will stop with this just to get them busted about the sex or sex registry i mean look who is talking the followers of a man who went to his own son house and he flirted with the wife when she is married look who is talking a man who believe in a prophet who he said that if the prophet his eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her so the prophet can have her immediately and you are talking about sex registry you coward you are a coward you want to go low we don't go low but we hit hard I don't know if my voice is coming or not. I noticed there is some problem here. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi in front of you. Do you see it, people? This is the translation of Google, automatic translation. If the prophet eyesight fall in a woman, her husband must divorce her so the prophet he can have her. And you are talking about someone in the sex registry? Have you ever heard of a perverted prophet more than this? And guess what? This is what the Shia and the Sunni believe. What a filthy religion. And when you talk about sex registry, do you mean like if I say to a woman, Islam woman, uh, suckle me? Because I heard that saying that word will make you a sexually perverted person. This is your brother, he go around and he was talking to a sheikh but that is a supposedly a real shake, not like you. And you say, okay, okay, can I suck your wife tit? Do you think this person is registered in sexual registry? And he talk about golden shower, luring his sister, you know, you name it. So when those Abdul, they speak about 
sexuality and ethic. What ethic do you have? Sex registry is exist in a Christian country, not in a Muslim country. For it is legal in Islamic country to be sexually perverted. Can we leave Muhammad in the front of any house in America? You cannot, because he will be staring and he will be considered a sexual predator of every woman she walk by. And he complained that women, they, advi they advance in the image of the devil and they live in the image of the devil. This is your prophet. He don't put his head down. He stare at the women until he is aroused, until he is sexually active. If we go to the book of Al-Qurtubi, the same page we showed you, you will see that this prophet, he went to the house of his own son, and he did flirt with the married women, officially sexually perverted. And not to forget to mention that the Prophet, he promised you in heaven that you will have a penis will never go limp. I mean, we can mention tons of things. So please don't talk about ethic and don't talk about sexuality. You are following the most perverted man ever. And again, all of this, I was going to talk only about the Quran and what you said about the Quran. But somebody told me that you mentioned my name. And you said, why he don't show up himself? Is he in a sex registry? Sex registry? Those are your brothers. They are in the sex registries. This is Nu'man Khan, peace upon him. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Sending text messages to 10 of women, teaching them about Allah and sharing his naked pictures. Hmm. Don't go there. But for me, those people, they don't count because people, they do sin. No problem. I mean, everybody, he do what he do. But we are talking about the Prophet of God who is sexually perverted, not about a Muslim teacher or a Muslim being accused of rape like Muhammad or a, a, or a person who was uh, uh, arrested by the police because he was uh, sharing children porn. And by the way, this person is way in the business before you. And he is the one who says a Christian prince is finished. Why want to debate him? You who finished me? I want to know. Hmm? How you can do that? Because your faithy sister, she said to me that Jesus, he was doing something sexual and, and, and with her breast. And I said to her, in fact, it's your prophet who said, suckle me. And those cowards, they could not debate you. So they tried to frame you. But not long time after, they said even more. They themselves, they go around and they practice suckle me. You cannot quote the Prophet for Muslims. And as long as we are talking about this, by the way, can you explain to us if Muhammad will be in the sixth registry, if he go in America and he start telling girls to give their breast to a stranger, in which registry he will be? In the registry of uh, boobs? Boobs.com?
When a prophet of God he said to a growing woman to give her breast to a growing man, and he said to her, suckle him. And then she said, how I can suckle him and he is a growing man? I don't know in which sexual registry we are going to put this person. And then his wife, she ordered her sisters to suckle anyone when they enter the house of Aisha. I wasn't there to practice such a privilege because honestly, I would love to meet Aisha. But as you see, before I enter into the house of Aisha, I have to suckle her sisters or her nieces who they are a growing women. Praise be to Allah. Open-minded hippie religion. Everybody is suckling everybody. And now the mother of the believers, she became a real mother of the believers because we suck from the boobs of her sisters. And you are talking about ethic. Why Christian Prince, he don't show himself? My friend, actually, Anthony Roger, he answered you some. He said he don't like to be a public figure. I am not seeking fame and, you know, to be famous. People do not know me. And the Lord, he says, bless the one who give with the right hand. And he don't even tell the, le the, the left hand what he's doing. So you coward, because you don't dare to get close to me. You don't dare to call me. Give me your Skype, I will call you, even though I don't use Skype. Give me pal talk, I will call you. And everybody will see that you are a potato. We will be back, guys. And we will show you how potato this guy and how he lie about the conversation they were saying between him and David Wood. I will create a new video, which means a new life. And I will be back maybe in 30 minutes. So uh, watch my page. Refresh it. You will see the new broadcast is coming soon. Join us again. I will keep this video just to say to him, don't ever make personal insult to me because always I will return it to faithy prophet Muhammad and I say that to all the Muslims you make a personal insult to me I will never return it to you I will shower your prophet with all what you can believe and actually I did nothing yet this is a warning don't go down otherwise we will post the story of your prophet being ridden by African every day. Otherwise, we will post the story of your prophet sucking the tongues of every day. Otherwise, we will show everybody how the prophet, if his eyes fall in the women, her husband must divorce her. This is how perverted he is. Dictator, filthy, no dignity. Even his own son, when he saw his wife, he forced the son to divorce the wife. And this is what the interpretation is saying. And again, this is in the book of Al-Qurtubi and in many other books. And this is the page number. This is one of the privilege of the Prophet that if his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately. Trashy, low class, you are Uthman. Shame on you. You are bringing a lot of shame to your prophet. How many Muslims now will be upset from you? Why you want to go low? I will tell you why. Because you are low. The Bible says, from their fruits, you shall know them. And if it make me uh, what you claim, because I caught your prophet, that is additional proof that your prophet is a perverted man. Warning Christians, if you quote what Muhammad said, the Muslim, they will say that you are a sexual pervert. Never quote Muhammad. But if you quote Jesus, nobody will accuse you of such a thing. Coward who run away like a cat from me. And all those who make excuses, we will debate him only face to face. Ah, I forgot. You said that you don't debate. You are not a debater. But isn't it this is you making supposedly a challenge to me that you want to debate me face to face? Oh, generally, all right? Anybody who wants to debate, who wants to discuss, who wants to learn about the Bible and the Quran and preservation, 
I'm sending this open challenge out. If you believe in what you believe in, let's debate face to face. If you believe in what you believe, let us debate shoulder to shoulder, you potato coward. People are interested in your answer, not in your face. And the face is an excuse to run because you are a potato. And by the way, Mr. Sexual Expert, do you think if I practice muta, which is in the Quran, that will make me get in the book of sex registry? What do you think? Hmm. One night stand. And if I practice paying the women wages, as the Quran said, for muta, is that going to make me arrested for prostitution? I think so. But this is your Quran and this is your prophet. And guess what? Your prophet, he allow it, then he forbid it, then he allow it, then he forbid it, then he allow it. And at the end, we have hadith saying he never forbid it. This is your religion, my friend. So when you say, I am not a debater, you are not. But you are willing to challenge me from behind all the way in San Diego. Saying, uh, debate you face to face. When all what it take you is just a call. And people either will laugh at you or will laugh at me. As people now are laughing at you. You said you want to debate a Christian prince and this is why David Wood, he mentioned my name. So they are asking you, are you willing to really debate him? No, you are not. Let's debate face to face. Because you mentioned Christian Prince. Okay. And it was where you, you said you, you challenged him to a debate. You said yeah. you debate anyone. So, anyone. So we decide. You debate anyone. So, anyone. So we decide. You, you can answer him, but what I'm getting at is okay. don't, don't pretend that you refuted Christianity just because oh, okay. you, you so, rolled your eyes at it. Let me, this, is, no. this is the historic Christian position, okay. which your religion later came along and claimed that it was confirming and correcting at the points of its departure, which you believe, from what was originally true. You don't refute Christianity by eye rolling. Surely you know that, right? What is your argument against that? Okay. You want me to speak? Yeah. Okay. I'm not here to refute Christianity. I'm not here to debate. I'm here to give dawah. I am a da'i, not a debater. You misunderstood it. I'm not here to debate. I'm not here to debate. I'm not here to debate. So I'm trying to understand. As you see, he is not here to debate. I mean, come on, don't put too much pressure on the man. Leave, leave Brittany alone. So guys, we will be back. Give me maybe 30 minutes from now. We will be back. And then we will get him busted about what he said in his argument to Anthony Roger. This is the biggest fraud. He is a scam. He is a liar. He is ashamed. He is ashamed of his Islam. This is why when you show them something would will bring embarrassment, right away they say this is weak, very weak, very weak. And by the way, he acted as if he never heard the hadith before. So how you know it's very weak? If you watch the video carefully, he acted as if he never heard it before. Suddenly he is expert and it's very weak. So we will be back in max of 30 minutes. Let me create the live broadcast. And now the topic will be, actually we will change the old one. We will make it, uh, Let us what name we will make. Let's see what name we will make. Uh, we will name it uh, Sheikh Uthman versus Weak Lies and Weak Prophet. All right, so give me guys 30 minutes and we will keep this one like with the size so people will download it easy and share it. 
and again I'm not going to keep this video because this is very low I mean but we have to go low with them you know what we can do I mean sometime here we go the garbage of Muhammad came out all of it in one time so uh, I will be back in 30 minutes from now it's 11 p.m. so I will make it 11 30 here we go and here we go we created a new live stream and we will be up on air very soon after half hour so thank you guys for being here join us again after half hour 30 minutes from now and everybody is welcome to invite his friends and we will show you with no question that islam is a fraud and this is why those people lie otherwise if they are proud about their prophet they don't need to lie to defend the religion a believer a true believer he do not need to lie a liar always when he defend that's mean he present the devil the bible says who is the father of all lies the answer is satan so the question is to uthman when you lie do you think because those guys don't speak arabic there's nobody speak arabic except you or maybe you claim to be no arabic and you are a pakistani boy in 30 minutes from now we will show you how we get him busted with no mercy it's a week right let us see how weak it is and let us see who is weak here it is your god is weak to the point he needs someone like you to lie to defend him it's your god is weak and your prophet is weak to the point that you muslim you claim that there's a story written by us muslims and those stories are false which means you are agreeing that muslims they lie depend in the situation so when those hadith they were functional it was a reason for us to lie but now those reasons are gone so we are not going to accept them no more otherwise why they are there written by muslims reserved by Muslims, printed by Muslims, published by Muslims, those hadith, they are weak as you claim. They should not be anymore in any book. And by the way, stupid you, weak hadith is accepted. As Sheikh Hamza, he said, weak hadith argument is a weak argument, and you are a fool. Join me after half hour, and until then, I want to say thank you, God bless you, and see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.